Hey guys, it's Drew the Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to talk to you about the one thing that we didn't really think about when going to small or big coin shows. Let's get this video started. So a small recap over the past few weeks, we've been to the fun show and then we went to a small coin show in Foley, Alabama. And there wasn't a whole lot of ton of things to buy in terms of bringing home for you guys for inventory. We did buy a lot of great coins that we're going to show you in this video. But when we were kind of starting out as coin dealers going to local shows and then going to regional shows and then going to, you know, shows that are in Florida or shows that are in Baltimore, we weren't really thinking about growing our connections. We were thinking about what can we bring home that day so we could offer you guys for your collection. And what this year has really started off showing us is that so the short term win of a coin show is finding great coins for your customers. The long term win is getting the phone number, getting a relationship with somebody that's at the show. And the reason being is because when you get home, you'll have those coins for maybe a few hours, maybe a few days, maybe a few weeks, but they're going to run out. You know, customers are going to keep wanting coins from you. And so the long term success, the long term win is having someone to call on when you get home from the show. You know, we got to sit down with a lot of great people at fun. And then we also got to visit some really cool guys out in Foley, Alabama. And that's going to really add on to what we get over time for you guys. And so when you're thinking about a coin show, think about who you can meet, who you can get in contact with. And that will really grow your coin business. And so we're going to spend a few minutes today talking about our experience in Foley, Alabama. And we're also going to show you all the great coins that we picked up. So we hope you guys enjoy. So last Thursday, we drove eight hours to Foley, Alabama. We got to sit down with our friends at Foley Coin Shop. And we ended up seeing them at the fun show. We also ended up buying a lot of coins from them in 2023. And it was really cool to see their operation. They're in an old dentist office and they ended up buying the property. It's a really great setup. It's like a man cave. You know, when guys want to buy coins, they should go into a place where they feel welcome. They feel like they're one of the boys. And so there was a lot of antiques there. There was a lot of coins there. There was a lot of, uh, you know, cool tool chests. There was a nice safe in there. There's a lot of great guys that like to talk to you about coins, like to talk to you about their experiences. And they also bought some armored trucks. So they had like an old, I don't know if it's a vintage armored truck. I'm going to put a picture of that on the screen and then they just got a new armor truck wrapped and just so they can advertise their business around town and so we ended up buying some coins from them at the shop and so we're going to spend some time right now showing you guys those coins all right guys so the first group of coins we're going to show you is these mercury dimes and you're going to ask yourself why in god's creation did someone send these in but they're kind of cool little things that you can add to your website once in a while make a few bucks Make an intro collector happy, 26D, 19S, 1918. Kind of just mid-grade, interesting coins. Nothing too crazy. And I think a collector just had maybe an album that he sent in to PCGS. And he wanted to see what their thoughts were. Maybe he thought they were higher graded than they actually were. And uh, yeah, kind of interesting. But I always like to buy these just because... Like I said, someone else paid for the grading, and now you're just kind of buying the coin at the market price, maybe a little bit back of that, and then offering it. So 25D and 31S. 31S is a little bit tougher. Next group of coins are these eight reals. Just really nice luster. 1897, MS63. Just love the look of these coins. We definitely want to work on buying more of these coins in 2024 because we do have customers that love these. It's just we don't really understand the market, but we are offered these at a good price at, at the shop. And we have this 1860, 8 real grade mint state 60. A little bit of a tougher mint. I'm pretty sure it's a Zecatecus, or I'm not, I'm not going to say it right. I'm going to need 10 comments telling me I said it wrong, but uh, definitely just. A great design overall it has a little proof like finish to it a very soft strike you can't even read uh you can't even read the cap here at all which is pretty interesting then like we said we really can't leave the show without some two by twos well not the show but the shop we ended up buying these at the shop we bought the most original mid-grade looking ones just because they're affordable and they're about half the price of mint state and 
they have that little two by two right there behind the head, which is a little bit of a tougher coin over the non two by twos, but definitely cool, affordable pieces. And that's about all we bought at the shop. So definitely in some nice pickups. So once we wrapped up at Fully Coin Shop, the coin show setup was that night. And so we ended up sitting down and buying some coins from people at the show. There wasn't a whole lot of nice coins to buy at the show, but we ended up picking up some pretty cool pieces, some odds and ends as well. We ended up buying some so-called dollars. We also ended up buying some shipwreck material. We ended up buying some old US type coins as well. And so it was definitely a cool mix as opposed to coin shows that are around here. And so let's spend a few moments showing you guys those coins. One cool thing from the coin show is that we were actually sitting around waiting for dealers to show up and we went to this free table and there ended up being a letter from a coin dealer in 1945 and he was asking for Alabama commemorative half stone mountains, Indian head cents, and it was all written down on this cool piece of paper. And we ended up buying some Alabamas for this video because our friends had so many. And so we ended up pairing a cool Alabama next to this really interesting letter. We ended up giving that letter to Foley Coin Shop as a gift, but they ended up having about 1% of the population of Alabama 2x2s at the show with them. They said it started off as a joke and now it's getting pretty serious. And so it was cool to be able to buy some Alabamas from them, offer them to you guys on our coin shop, AcousiaCollectibles.com. But if you guys are interested in coming to a show, meeting us, we will be at the Houston Money Show this weekend. We'll be set up at David Holcomb's table just when you walk in down to the right. We'll have a lot of new fresh material available for you guys to check out. We'll also be just honored to talk to you and sit down with you. And so we hope you guys can show up there and see us. All right, guys. So the first coin I want to show you from the show is this 1872 CC seated half, graded AG3. A very tough coin to find in any grade. They're super expensive just in this grade alone, which is interesting. Has a little darkness and a little whiteness for sure. But when we saw this coin, we're like, man, we got to pick it up, even if we only make a few bucks. But definitely a nice little type coin there. Always love some Carson City seated halves. Then we have this 1878S trade dollar graded VF20. Little white, little, uh, little cleaned up, but that's okay. When someone's buying something for their collection, they're either paying that super high premium for a more original coin or they're paying a little bit under for, you know, a decent looking coin like this. Then we have a coin we ended up getting in the mail, which is the 1874 three cent nickel graded proof 64 plus by PCGS. It's gold CAC approved. Definitely an undergraded coin. Not sure what they would give it nowadays. Maybe a 65 plus, maybe a 66, but just a phenomenal looking coin. Then we have this 1806 straight bust half graded VF30. Bought this coin because the knob six small stars isn't offered very often. And they can get pretty expensive in this grade and grades above it. And uh, I was definitely a fan of the coin when I picked it up. And I wanted to offer it to you guys. Up next is this 1935 Texas commemorative half that also came in the mail with the three cent nickel. Just a nice, flashy, white Texas CEC approved. We ended up sending a lot of these coins in for a collector a while ago, and now he's just selling a few at a time to us, and this one is very, very nice. Then we have this 1917D Type 1 Standing Liberty Quarter graded XF40. Just a nice original looking mid-grade type coin, and uh, these always do very well for us. Then we have this 1921 Alabama. It's not a 2x2, two two, but it is in a Rattler. Very tough in a Rattler. I uh, don't see these very often, and so we ended up picking up this one from our friends at Foley Coin Shop. They had a few hanging out, but this one definitely jumped out to us the most. Then we have this SS Republic Shipwreck Seated Half, graded by NGC. There's no grade on the coin just because it has the shipwreck effect. It's an 1856-0. These sell for a decent amount on eBay, but we thought we would try it out. Do something new, do something cool. I do like the surfaces of the coin, just how much detail is left on it. A lot of the shipwrecks just got eaten away. And this one 
Maybe but by today's standards would be like an XFAU. Then we have this 1878, reverse of 79, Morgan dollar. Hard to pick up on the toning, but it's definitely pretty cool. Definitely a decent 63. Has some purplish red toning on the reverse as well. Has those raised breast feathers like 79s do. And that's why this coin is a verse of 79. Then we have another gold cactus to show you guys. This 1881, three cent nickel, graded proof 64 by PCGS. Definitely undergraded, gold cac approved. And uh, just a nice sharp looking coin and a nice holder. Then we have one of my favorites of the whole show, which is this 1853 seated half. XF45, arrows and rays, has a little underlying color. If this one doesn't sell, I'll probably just send it to CAC and see what happens with it. Love the arrows and rays on coins like this. Just one of my favorite type coins to buy. Then we have this 1937 Boone commemorative half, Great Men's State 65, CEC approved. Nice white coin. Definitely has some great luster to it as well. Then we have some so-called dollars to show you guys. I'll try to add some more descriptions on the listings when I put them on our website. But we have some Pan Pacific 1901 so-called dollars. Just love the designs of these coins. They uh, really just jumped out at us when picking them up. And we tried to just buy them good and sell them good. You know, if you guys ever wanted to pick up stuff like this, it really gets to just display us as a nation. And... You know, we buy a lot of coins from the Pan Pacific, you know, uh, maybe it's a Panama half, or we buy stuff from the Colombian Expo, you know, uh, Colombian commemorative half dollars. And so we ended up buying those two. We're going to show you some other so-called dollars here right now. These ones are uh, Ryan dollars. Ryan dollars basically got people excited about buying silver as a way to, uh, you know, invest. Back in the day, it's just one ounce little pieces of of, uh, of rounds basically and I'll make sure to include a website just so you guys can take a look and read a little bit of backstory about these because they do have a pretty cool backstory just so uh, you guys can be updated on that then we have two of my favorite so-called dollars from the show this is a 1915 pan pack uh, it's an official metal it's great mint state 64 just look at the design of the obverse loved it so much that we wanted to try it and uh, when you take a look at the reverse, it's got a cool little design also. It's not gold. It's just a little metal for you guys. And this one probably has the most detail. It's an 1892 to 93 World's Fair, Columbian Expo. It's great, Mint State 63. And just take a look at this beautiful, beautiful metal. I don't normally buy these, like I said, but this one just really stuck out to us. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed these coins. We wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the tip that we had and the experience that we had also. Make sure to subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. And we want you guys to be a part. Smash that like button because it means so much. It reaches so many other people than you might know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.